Okay, in this next lesson, we are going to look at layering tracks. Now, all layering is um, basically is duplicating tracks that we've already got and either panning them left and right or creating uh, or selecting new sounds to uh, work with the existing sounds we've got. So I'll give you a real quick example to start off with. So we've got a chords track here, okay? So I'm going to right click on this chords track and press duplicate, all right? I've now layered this track, so now there's basically two lots of the same notes being played over the top of each other at the same time. It should have the uh, same automation from the filter, should have everything from beforehand. But what I'm going to do differently is I'm going to pan one left all the way to the, say, 50% or 50 right, left, sorry, and then 50 right. And so now one's going to be all the way in the left speaker and one's going to be in the right speaker. Now, unfortunately, in this video, you can't really hear the difference because it's a, it's a mono feed into my video recorder. But uh, if you do this in your project, you'll hear the chords become a lot wider and you've got the rest of your, I guess, your melody, your bass line and your drum beat in the middle of the track. But we can also do uh, things further than this. So, for example, I'm going to duplicate this track here and I'm just going to make it a, a different color just so we can uh, kind of see that it's uh, different. Just give me a second to change the color here. I'll make it red. Okay, so what I'm going to do here is, all right, we've got the same chords duplicated. It'd have the same sound, but what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to change the massive patch uh, to a different uh, lead sound. So I'm going to go with, uh, hmm, what should I use here? I might go with 1033 and see what that sounds like. Let's just quickly have a quick solo of this track. That might actually work well with the uh, with the track. So what I might do is now duplicate, we'll move that one to 50 left, and let's just have a listen to it with the uh, with the other channels. Yeah, it's quite good because it adds a, like a, a plucky sound to the chords as well. So you're kind of getting your big fat synthy sound uh, with these two chord layers up here, and with these ones down here, I'm just going to duplicate this one and pan this one. Hard right. Um, actually, what we could do, which is even uh, more creative, I think, is to go um, maybe 30 left and 30 right. So then they're not completely on top of each other. And so they're still wider in the stereo field, um, but they're not going to be completely on top of each other. Plus, the plucks kind of add uh, another nice little layer to the sound. So if we just go from uh, here, let's have a listen. We'll just see how they sound in the uh, in the filter build up. Yeah, I like that. Maybe bring them down just a little bit so they're not as loud. But yeah, the kind of different synth sounds gives a different texture to the chords. Um, still the same chords being played, but just a different sound. Now we can do this to a lot of things. So for example, I'm going to duplicate this melody track here. And I might uh, shorten this one and maybe get rid of this one. So now it's layered just in these sections here. But then again, I'm going to change the sound that we are using. So for this one, I might use... Let um, me just have a play around with a few different ones. Maybe try, might try Chipsaw. See how this one sounds. That gives it a nice little detune uh, behind the track, so that's more of a detune synth. I'm just going to rename these tracks so we kind of know what they are. So I'm going to make that melody three, and I make these chords um, left and chords right, and make this one chords two left and chords two. Right, so we're just going to label them. Then we've got Melody 1, 2, 3 down here. And I'm going to do something similar to my arpeggiator track. So I'm just going to duplicate that. And I'm going to just change the massive sound to a different pluck sound. So we've got pluck Z at the moment. Uh, I'm going to go with plug bio, plug bio. I reckon it's a nice sound. 
So let's have a listen to the way the plucks work here. Uh, might go here. <laughs> So layering uh, can add, I guess, greater depth to your piece by adding more um, interesting sounds. So it's kind of good to pick sounds that complement each other. So if you're layering uh, one sound with another sound, make them work together. Don't You don't want to have too many things that sound exactly the same. You want to have something that's a bit slightly different and adds to the actual overall sound. So yeah, now I have a layered track. Uh, my chords are layered. My melody's got a third layer. We already had two in there. And my arpeggio has got a layer. And just note that we pan the chords uh, left and right so they further in the stereo spit field to make the uh, the sound seem wider. So yeah, have a go at layering in your composition and see if you can layer sounds that complement each other and work well together. <laughs> 